Good morning, beloved. Trust you are well and blessed on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Our daily devotional topic is on faith, and our first scripture comes from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, from verse 1. The Bible says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. So when we have an assurance, of what we hope for when we are convinced that even though we've not been able to see what we hope for it is already given that is what we refer to as faith the book of Psalms chapter 46 from verse 10 the Bible says be still and know that I am God I'll be exalted among the nations I'll be exalted in the earth so when God asks us to be still is so that our faith can be at work and we can have confidence in him so being still even in the midst of storm is a representation of our faith towards god john chapter 8 from verse 24 unless you believe that i am who i claim to be you will die in your sins so even the act of believing in who god is is an act of faith because we've not been able to see god yet so when we believe that he is who he claims to be in our lives then that is an act of faith by itself romans chapter 10 from verse 17 so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of christ so when we hear and we hear through the word of christ then that is what we call faith mark chapter 5 from verse 36 overhearing what they said jesus told him do not be afraid just believe do not be afraid just believe there are situations that will come in your life that will uh, ask from you to just believe there are situations you face that will require you to just believe and today god is saying to you just believe do not be afraid whatever it is do not be afraid just believe second corinthians chapter 5 from verse 7 for we walk by faith not by sight so we walk by faith as christians as children of god we walk by faith not by what we see because what we see might be contrary to what god is saying hebrews chapter 11 from verse 6 and without faith it is impossible to please god because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who diligently seek him without faith it is impossible to please god so the only way we can be able to please god as his children is through faith because anyone that comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who diligently seek him so our relationship with god is purely a faith-based relationship if you keep feeling like not seen i cannot believe then you cannot be able to please god our every miracle every testimony everything that god does for us it has to be activated by faith by faith first corinthians chapter 16 from verse 13 paul was saying to them be on guard stand firm in the faith be courageous be strong so today i want to say to you stand firm in your faith what is it you are asking and believing god to do for you i'm saying to you on this day stand firm on your faith be courageous and be strong and stand firm on your faith that is the only thing that god requires from you so there are so many scriptures out there that talk about faith you can read them so that your faith can be activated because it is important for every child of god to have faith otherwise we cannot be able to to please god so as you go out there i pray that your faith is going to stand firm i pray that you i mean i pray that you are going to stand firm on your faith despite what is going to happen despite the situation you find yourself in my prayer for you is that you are going to stand firm on your faith in jesus name so god mightily mightily bless you and have a blessed day ahead in jesus name hallelujah amen